Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording of LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. We are at 81.9%. I have gotten the final gold brick that is in the overworld. It turns out on this race, the RC cars just go in the direction you point, mostly. So if you point left, it's going to go left. I just pointed straight left. If you drive off the edge of the cliffs, you will die. But, wow, I am amazingly thing. So, actually, leaving that alone for a moment, it is, it is actually quite easy to do this race when you realize that. You don't adjust to the direction at all. This is all left, this is all left and up, this is straight down, this is right. You have to go in a loop like this to do it. You have to go do a loop here. When you do the loop here, you go straight this way, and you go straight this way. Then it has us do a loop around like this again. And I'm easily doing it now like this. It has us come right through this again, or maybe it has us jump over, I don't remember. And then do a loop again. So you do like three loops on this, but if you understand, it's just pointing in the direction. And then the final goal is right there. And it's actually incredibly easy if you realize that it's just up makes you go up. And down makes you go down. I also did the Deadpool race, it took me about three attempts, and got the Deadpool scooter, and it unlocked this new Deadpool race, which is a helicopter, so I don't know, maybe, hopefully he won't make me race him in some kind of flying vehicle, because that would be a nightmare, maybe he'll just have me fight some bad guys, and for fighting the bad guys, I will get his helicopter belly. That's ideally what I want. Let's see. Where, where? I lost my favorite flamingo blade, and I can't be bothered to go look for it myself. Yeah. Man, these fetch quest guys ticked me off. I still want you to go find that sword, though. Chop, chop! <laughs> Okay. That is fine. I am much happier with a fetch quest than a race. So I now get to pick up the ghost studs, by the way. So they give me a small amount of currency, not a lot. Watch it, buddy. So where is this sword? I bet it's down this alley. Is it in one of these dumpsters? Looks like it is. There's this flamingo blade. Okay. Looks like a little Lego flamingo. We'll be getting into the main mission of this level hey. in a second. Hey, it's what's his name? And frankly, we're about done with the overworld completely. Awesome, you found it! I can sleep at night again. Be honest though, you just followed the convenient trail of studs, didn't you? Ah, games are too nice these days. <laughs> So now we have Deadpool's helicopter unlocked, which I believe means we have all of the things unlocked. And that set unlocks this quest. And I doubt it's going to unlock any others. So let's fly over here, see what she's going to have us do. Maybe look for a cat again. It's my third quest, so you know what that means? 
The designers have probably run out of ideas. Let's beat up a set number of bad guys. Extra points if you see them spawn in. <laughs> I think... I think they probably should have taken some of this criticism for the heart. Nice if they gave you a counter. Whew. Guess At you'll least. be wanting the prize now, huh? Well, I'm fresh up. Ah, I'm only messing with you. Take it and get out of here, you crazy kid. So we've unlocked Aunt May. Really? Aunt May. Wait a minute. Where is Aunt May? Here? Interesting. She is right there. So we have, I believe, oh, yeah. now all of the characters unlocked. Nope, Stanley. Stanley is still here. All of these are just custom characters, which none of the custom characters are are specifically locked. They're just black. So, are there any more quests that have unlocked? I don't believe there would be. I think we're done. Right. So, I'm going to go here, and we will be able to unlock the last vehicle. Well, purchase the last vehicle, and then I'll go to the hover carrier, and we'll purchase the last flying vehicle. Deadpool scooter, we now have them all. So we'll return to the helicarrier, and over here we have a spawn-in point for flying vehicles, if I can stand here. And there's Deadpool's helicopter unlocked. There we go. So, everything has been unlocked and purchased except for Stanley, which I imagine Stanley we get when we have all 250 of the studs. Which is a fine, I guess, reward for getting all the studs. It's not something you'd be super upset about not getting and it doesn't and it does add a slight interesting twist right. now we're to the story last time we did Times Square off now we do explore exploratory laboratory in free play mode here we go with all the characters let's do it hmm Within the Oscorp building's high security perimeter, Norman Osborne's labs undertake secretive research into radical new chemical and genetic technologies. I no longer have any reason to be in the overworld, so any future recordings probably <laughs> won't be in so them. Long? Now remember, there was a section before this that isn't actually part of the level where you ran around and had to get inside the building and you can only reach that section the first time you play the game Clint you shouldn't have hmm. immediately true hey, believer no. Excelsior here we go Destroy that. Open this door. Of 
Red, yellow, blue. Yellow, blue. Here we go. Let me in. So we need Magneto. I was given a custom character to play with this time. Guess I plug in these batteries. And that opens this door. Loki is not smart enough to use computers? Okay. So I guess I'm trying to spin these color codes to match the... That was hard to see what they were asking for, but kind of cool as a thing. Well, it's 30 million studs. We're mostly just wasting time getting studs, though. So I want to get to the maximum. Besides Stan Lee, there's nothing. Uh, there's nothing more to purchase. Watch the blue lights. I mean the bottom lights. Red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue. Coming through! <laughs> Destroy these Oscorp signs. Spider-Man, where are you? So there's a whole section up here or higher. Let's see, how do we get into that? I guess there isn't any. There's just the arrows were pointing me in a strange direction. There's apparently an Oscorp sign back here. So there's one over here. Destroy it. Our Deadpool cameo. I've come to realize Caution. he's in every Possible single level. laboratory break-in confirmed by big explosion. Please direct your panic-stricken running to the nearest exit. Okay, this is a giant guy that we need. Don't we have a big guy? I guess we don't. Alright, fine. Pull this. So, Captain America. I don't think I have Captain America either. Throw. There we go. We activate the dancing. My spider sense again. What is it? Dancing hologram. <laughs> This down. Throw in this. Yeah. Make it a 
better for him. Probably didn't need to do any of that stuff, but we'll play this legitimately a little bit while we're still looking for the collectibles. What is it? So we need a psychic character. So we'll come over here to Jean Grey. You can probably tell that when it really gets down to it, there's probably only like eight, maybe ten characters in this entire game that matter. And all the others are duplicates or extras. That's fine. You really wouldn't want to have to memorize every single one of these other characters' uh, abilities and constantly be switching. It, if you did have to do that, then it would probably get down to a level that you only used each character once in the entire game. There's another one. And we need, now need somebody with lightning power, like Odin, to charge these up. Go. So you could have only gotten in this area by free play mode. It's kind of weird. Switch. We'll need some kind of weapon or sharp object to trigger it. Let's see. It's kind of weird that they went this way with it. Ah, uh, teleported it. That's cool. Back to Mr. Fantastic. Stretch through here. So we still got some collectibles to do. I have no idea where my other guy is. Pull this down. Here we go to the halfway point. Although not really the halfway point, that's just the first I'm section. Sorry, but you three don't seem to have the proper hmm. visitor passes. <laughs> Doom, I'll be on my way shortly. <laughs> There's the Stanley cameo, even though Stanley already wow. cameo. Getting a visitor cameos. pass around here is grueling. So this whole Venom section is certainly just full of collectibles. We could tell that was the case even as we first played it. Take this up. There's one. What's he doing? Is there some stuff over here? Just black sludge. I think we probably need to play. 
play has been up. So Venom doesn't die in his own sludge. That makes total sense. Probably doesn't have any trouble with radioactive goo either. Partner's still stuck over here. Agent Barton reporting. There we go. Fast build helps. And so does the track stud. Okay. That was weird. How do we get through here? Is it Let's try uh, heat beam. Nope, doesn't look like the heat beam. Jeez, this almost looks like you, you would have been able to pick this up. Is that the trick? Feels like maybe they had planned for you to be able to pick that up. I'll play as Venom again. Some of this would require venom. So that's spider two. Wow, venom does get stuck in his own. 
what ridiculousness that is. I changed the big venom. Spider three. There we go. So that's six of ten collectibles. We haven't saved Stanley in peril yet either. Uh, spin this around, I guess. to Maria Hill. No, not Maria Hill, but Black Widow. Go invisible. To save a little bit of time there. Instead of swinging around on the the arrows that you would have had to fire into each one of those slots. Quickly take one last glance. Looks like we got everything. Good. <laughs> I'll go ahead and save and continue even. So I'd say maybe this is close to the mid middle of the game. We're gonna have to come back after. Come on, let me out. After we lower the shields, we'll come back and get that one. Let me out. I'm glad they didn't use any more of that garbage of the venom slime in any of the other levels. It would have been rather annoying to constantly be running into that. Shields are now down. There's one right here that needs ice. Seems like. Or somebody else with an ice power. Get rid of these guys so they can car out of my way. supposed to be freezing it or what? What do I now need fire? Maybe I need some fire to melt it out. Interesting. You build it with ice then you melt it with fire. Interesting trick. There 
take another one. And I leave two more. Which aren't in this section. Step on this. Stop fighting people. Step on this. And you. I guess maybe I have to. Eliminate some of these guys first. Step on that. You go over here and step on this one. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why they took out the AI mechanic where the game would just have the second player automatically do that if you were playing as a drunk player like I am. It really makes no real sense. missing something. This is the state where there's still one item that needs to be destroyed in this pile. Or maybe it's over here. Oh yeah, it is over there. Okay, sorry. Six hundred and forty three million studs right now. We are doing well on studs. Alright, so we need a magnetic character to open this. And then we need a claw character to flip the switches. Release these guys. Including Stanley. Excelsior. That's number nine. We just have number ten to get. there's any way to break glass. I thought there might be a way to break glass, but they you didn't know, introduce any totally characters. Legitimate. And unsuspicious office tower. This place is surprisingly disgusting. You said it. I think that's all of them. 
Uh, no. I see him. We always love running into you, Spider-Man. Alright, let's go up here and get this collectible first. Thing. How do we open that door? I'll just have to take out more of his bad guys for a while before he decides to show back up. There we go. Hit the switch. Bad guys again until he starts to show back up. Spider sense again. What is it? There we go. Pull this down. Almost done defeating Bill. Do we have to fight the Green Goblin too? Uh, no. Good. This is a long enough level without <laughs> that. I knew I should have packed my anti-goblin arrows. Legolas! Ha! Can you and the other Avengers track him down? I gotta do dishes, homework, explain to my girlfriend why I am always, always leaving her waiting at coffee places. I mean, my life is really hard. So it's taking about 30 minutes in free play mode, even though I know wh exactly what I'm supposed to do to do each level. Uh, it probably took me close to 45 to 50 minutes in story mode to do the same level, uh, not knowing what's going to happen. Either way, it's pretty long. Pretty long, but then there are only 15 levels that only gives you probably 15 hours if you were just going to play this game 
in story hey, mode, then no. we'll put it away on the shelf and never touch it again. Of course, that would be the absolute wrong way to play any LEGO game. As you've seen through this series, there's just a ton of other extra stuff. Things like these comics that I didn't even realize were going to be unlocked. Thanks for we getting are me out almost of that up to four billion. Believers. I wonder if that's going to be the real hard limit. We're almost at 225. So 25 more gold bricks, 26 more gold bricks needed right now. Let's go look at the comic and see what we get for getting all the mini kits. Hmm. I'm not sure if I if I like the mini kits giving us comics. I think it would be better if the mini kits gave us the flying machines and then maybe the races give us comics, comics or whatever gave us the flying machines elsewise. They've got so much packed into this game that there's there's they're having a hard time even handing it to the player. Really. Because if this was Lego Star Wars, you would have gotten a uh, you would have gotten a flying vehicle. This Deadpool in the background. So we get these comics. They're cool and all, I guess. They don't make any sound or have any words in them, and they're just a small selection of uh, pictures. The animation style is kind of weird. Look at the animation style about how about the shading and shadowing here compared to this one, which is much more glossy and, and more detailed compared to this one, which is much darker but still glossy and detailed. This one really stands out as being a different animating. Anywho, we have finished this recording and so we're done with this level. We are, as far as I know, completely done with the outline, out overworld. I don't think there's any more races that I need to do. I don't think there's any more collectibles that I need to get. Um, I'm pretty sure we've done everything. And boy does the map look kind of empty now. So now we just need to work towards that 100% collectability. We'll see. Uh, getting mini kits saving Stanley in peril, getting the last two uh, true believers. All of that together should give us 26. There's two for the true believers. There is 12 for the uh, Stanleys in perils. That's 14. And then there's probably 10, I would guess, of the mini kits. And that feels very much like we've got everything on path to collect everything. Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.